What's going on there, everybody? So we're gonna continue just uh, stripping this down. We're gonna do what I call cleaning the table or clearing the table. Um, we did a pretty good job. At, uh, here, I'll show you what I mean here. We did a pretty good job at um, cutting our welds and everything off. But as you can see, and hopefully see, as you can hopefully see, there's a little bit of, you see those rust spots in between the grinded off new metal? That is all the material that we're going to want to go ahead and uh, get down to basically. So we're going to grind down what's fresh until we get down to where this is all shiny. Uh, so we're going to get this started, get this cleaned off. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start the process of stripping down all of the re or the old paint so we can repaint it. Because uh, as you see underneath this... 25 years of dirt there is some paint but since we're doing this we might as well repaint it because there's no way in hell that i'm throwing a rusty axle underneath my jeep so we're going to strip this down as well uh, in this process and then we'll go ahead and move on to the next process All right, we got her all cleaned down, ready to go. So I'll clean her up more later on, but right now she's just uh, to the base. That way I can get everything welded up and then we'll paint her all when everything's uh, welded on there. So, as I said, we'll do this together. We've removed the axle, so I crossed it off. I've already plugged the rear brake line. I forgot that was even on the list, so I just crossed it off. Uh, check the current U-joint. It's fine, but we're going to get another one just because while we're in there, why not do that? I don't want to press another U-joint out in six months. Uh, we've just prepped the 88 axle for the mounts, so let's cross that off. Figure out the ABS wire. Well, I thought about wiring the two wires to be a one wire to go to the Ford 88 ABS sensor, but as I'm reading, the homage and corresponding um, codes that it's throwing out basically to the computer, for lack of a better term, uh, that's not gonna work. That's why the Ranger has an ABS sensor light, even though I've got it all plugged in, ready to go. So that tells me that it's looking for a different signal. So figuring out ABS sensor, we're just gonna snip them and we're gonna deal with an ABS light, no worries. Clean the undercarriage. That'll uh, that'll be later. We'll get to that part later. So that's really all we have to do on our main list for now. Later on, we'll still get to those valve stem seals plus new plugs while we're in there. So parts list: drive shaft flange bolts, spark plugs. Spark plugs we have. Drive shaft flange bolts are on the way. And while we're here. We're going to add you, oh, look who can't spell today, you joint. I'm not going to cross it off until it's officially here. Otherwise, I may forget about it. So anyways, that's where we're at on the progress so far. Let's keep going. We're going to now have to add some more things to the list now that we've crossed so many off. All right, so we're about ready here to weld in this 8.8 right here. Uh, first though, we're gonna find that pinion angle. But before we find our pinion angle, there's one big step. Well, it's not very big, it's just very important. Uh, we're gonna have to, here, I'll flip you around. So I've got her mocked up in there and she's rather straight as it is right now. But if I weld her in, I can put her anywhere I want. But where I want is obviously the correct spot, right central. So. We're gonna go ahead, and I'll just show you from this side. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop a plumb line. And for all you carpenters, you know, but all you non-carpenters, you don't know, that's just gonna be a line that sits from here and drops straight down. 
And then I'm gonna measure the distance from the backing plate to wherever that line is. I wanna make this dif di distance the same on this side as that side. So this axle is gonna to need to be scoot in and out, in and out, left and right rather, uh, to get it proper. And then we can mess with the pinion angle. And hey, another exciting moment because we got our drive shaft flange bolts and our new U-joint. I've already put it together. Obviously that's a pretty boring step, but we got her all down there, ready to go, just ready to prep her up in there. I wanna make sure that she's gonna mate up just fine with no issues. You always wanna double, triple check all fitments on everything. That's why I left the control arms in, even though I'll probably take them out just to give me some more working room. Cause as you see, this axle needs to go back just a smidge but this is in the way. So we'll probably drop this, but for now I wanted to just make sure everything looked like it lined up decently. Uh, then we're gonna put our brackets in there, make sure that fits, and then uh, continue the process I've already said. All right, so the next step, or first step rather, depending on how you look at it, you wanna get your pinion angle to about six degrees, or at least wherever you're, six or seven degrees, wherever your position needs to be wherever your stock height was at. Then, you're gonna wanna hang a plumb line, which I've already done, but I'll show you guys for fun. I explained earlier. I just tied a washer on the end of a rope, make my own plumb line. Uh, basically, all I was doing was um, finding the distance. That way we're centering up the axle left and right underneath the Jeep. So now that we've got that, I've already gone ahead and you wanna set your spring up in here and find out exactly where that spring needs to sit because the instructions will give you exact parameters on where to put things, but they think that this is a 53 inch wide axle. I've measured it, it's actually, it's actually closer to about 61 inches wide. So it tells me this might be out of a Bronco, not an Explorer. Anyways, nonetheless, we continue doing it my way, not the instructions way. So we want to get this guy around seven degrees of an angle. I've got it close there already, but this is going to be our spring pad. We want this around seven degrees and we are looking right about six, six and a half, seven. So I'm going to get that as close as I can here. Bring out the welder and we'll get her tacked in. I'll do the same for the opposite side. All right, so we're gonna do welder on. Two should be hot enough. Feed speed of about, let's do three and a half for now. Let's see how three and a half treats me. And let's turn on our bottle. Let's check that we have fuel, even though I already have checked. And we're going to want to get our ground strap put on there while not doing that. <laughs> so, laser bag up there. I've got our Sharpie. That was our plumb line. We don't need that anymore. That was the centering her. Here's our line for putting her in. Now, we need to get her to 7 degrees again. And I'll rest her right about there. Like so. That should be decent. She's around six. I'll, I'll get her adjusted here. I'll set you on over here though. All right, so seeing as how I'm right handed, <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and get you guys on this side. Got our gas going, got our line going, everything going. Now, we need to ground our strap. So we're just gonna use this right on, right on our spring pad. And you can use that to manipulate wherever angle that you need to be. In my case, seven degrees. So, oh. <laughs> uh, smacked it right on the rotor. 
about there. We'll start our weld. We're just tacking her in there. That way she ain't falling as you see. It's not a pretty weld, it's just a quick one. Plus, I don't think I've touched a welder in a good three years. We are right on seven degrees. Let's go ahead and get our other side. If I can get to our other side. Let's just turn that off. She's tacked in very lightly. We can go ahead and make sure that she's fit up. Not fed up. I'll get the other one tack welded in and we will do a test fit and see how they work. Hopefully we're in the right angle. If not, we'll just go ahead and buzz off those small tack welds and reset her.